Can a single cell be sophisticated enough to be capable of making a complex decision? Over a century ago, the American zoologist Herbert Spencer Jennings conducted an experiment suggesting that this might indeed be the case. The hierarchy of behaviors which Jennings observed, I felt was very important because it indicated that the organism was in some sense and quote unquote changing its mind as to what to do and very few other instances where we have such clear indication that individual cells are capable of that kind of change of mind. Jennings was studying Stentoroselli, a member of a group of single-celled organisms called ciliates. Trumpet-shaped and unusually large for a single cell, Stentor like to stick to debris via a holdfast and have little hairs called cilia, which they use to swim and to create a vortex around their oral cavities to feed. Jennings' experiment was fairly straightforward, but the behaviors he observed were not. He used a fine capillary pipette to squirt carmine dye at the oral cavity, and that was the stimulation he used to annoy them. What Jennings observed was a sequence in which the organisms first bent away from this uh, irritation. They also altered the direction of their ciliary rotation so that instead of ingesting the particles, they would expel them. And then when that didn't work, they contracted sharply down to their holdfast. And finally, they would get completely fed up and they would pull up their holdfast and swim off. To me, what was fascinating about it is the suggestion that actually individual cells, if you know how to ask them the right questions or annoy them in the right way, will actually reveal that they are more sophisticated and more autonomous than we realize. However, subsequent efforts to replicate Jennings' experiments failed, and his findings were discredited and largely forgotten to science. It kept bugging at me. So eventually I tracked down the paper and I discovered that the experiments had been undertaken on a different kind of ciliate. So, with then graduate student Joseph Dexter and then postdoctoral fellow Sudhakaran Prabhakaran, the three Harvard Medical School systems biologists set out to replicate Jennings' original experiment. Over the course of several years, they located Stentor Roselli test subjects and set up an experimental apparatus to repeatedly deliver an environmental irritant, in this case, microplastic beads, and then they recorded the organism's responses. Well, what we saw was every single one of the avoidance behaviors, but the behavior we found was very much more variable than Jennings had reported. And the most difficult part, I think, of the analysis was finding how to look at this from a statistical point of view. Where observation failed, math triumphed. So what came out of the statistical analysis was really exactly what Jennings had claimed. There's a hierarchy of behaviors. So if you ask whether alteration and bending happen before contraction, then the statistical evidence for this across many organisms is extremely compelling. Stentor roselli in this case is deciding whether to alter its cilia or bend or contract, or to keep on contracting or to detach. And that gives it a quality of autonomous behavior, which is in fact what Jennings was so interested in himself. So why would scientists at a medical school be interested in these unusual organisms? We tend to think of, um, say, the process of development of, say, a human being from a single fertilized egg as being programmed, which tends to give the idea that the cells are, sort of know what to do. And I think what Jennings' experiments to me suggest is that part of that program might actually be giving the cells a lot more autonomy for making up their own minds what to do in the context they find themselves in. And I think that's becoming clearer from the evidence we have about the way cancers grow and the way in which, say, the immune system does its work. But I think it is also relevant to how the organism is, constructs itself from a single cell. So I think this alerts us to the possibility of much more com complex behaviors at the level of a single cell. <laughs>